I'm hardly a, a trade expert per se, and certainly wasn't in the room. I guess I would uh, observe that there are some incentives to uh, keep the iPhone off the list. Certainly, iPhones are super popular here, and it would be very unfortunate for a lot of us to be paying more for our phones. Uh, conversely, on China's side, well, uh, iPhone production there supports many, 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 many jobs, and it's certainly in the hundreds of thousands and perhaps over a million. So how do you model uh, this exemption? How does it affect your outlook on earnings? And what happens if things change? Well, it seems it's a very fluid situation. Things very well could change. I think uh, we, like, uh, like Apple itself, are optimistic that uh, cooler heads will prevail in the trade tensions. Um, but uh, it certainly is uh, a risk that we have to worry about for our 2019 projections. What would be some of the signals you'd be looking for in terms of delivery times, the, the, the supply adequacy uh, for components to see if there were any uh, disruptions? I guess that's not something you uh, are seeing or expect right now, but uh, what are the signals right now in terms of uh, the new class of iPhones and things like that? Uh, that's a good question. The, uh, the new iPhones should have regular availability that is unlike the iPhone 10 when it launched last year, Apple was very constrained on its production out of the gate. Uh, not to say that Apple have as many as we all want on day one, but their supply availability should ramp pretty quickly. Uh, so what we will be able to do is watch the shipment times uh, that are you know, we all can see on the Verizon AT&T website just to see how strong demand actually is proving for the new phones. What sorts of indications, Jeff, are you getting about demand for the Apple Watch? Uh, so far, it seems good. It's very early, though, and we don't have the same ability to check that as we do with the, with the iPhones themselves. I think I'm very optimistic about the watch in general. The Watch Series 3 sold well last year. One of the nice data points that we will get is when the telcos report in early October, they will tell us what their... Um, well, they won't tell us specifically about the watch, but they will tell us about non-phone connections, uh, and that will allow us to triangulate on watch sales. 